Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your January 1st through January 7th weekly tarot reading. Generally, generally my readings turn out to be love readings. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Aquarius. It may not resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest because this is for a general audience. It's not a private reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the Seven of Swords. Okay, the Seven of Swords is some kind of betrayal. Okay, so there's some kind of betrayal in love that leads to a transformation. Okay, that's, that's what this week is about. It's like you've been betrayed in love and it's time for a change. It's like it's over, I'm starting over. I'm starting something new. It's time for me to start my new life. Okay. This is the death card. It's a transformation. All right. The thing is, is there's no need to have any regrets. There's no need to cry about it. Hold your head up high. There's, there's so many other options. Okay. There really is in love, you know, and I feel like you may, you may be feeling, you know, withdrawn. You may be overly depressed over this betrayal. You may be feeling, you may be crying. Um, you know, you may feel like you're the victim in this situation, but the fact of the matter is, is this happened because it's time for you to start a new chapter. It is. It's time for you to start a new chapter with the death card and the world card. This is the death card. This is the world card. The world card is the last card in the deck. When this card comes up in a reading, it means one lesson has been learned. You've learned something really big. And you've reached the finish line, and it's time to start your new chapter. It's time to start your major new beginning. Okay? So that's why this, this betrayal happened, to push you in the direction of your new chapter. Okay? Perhaps there was a third-party situation that you've become aware of. I'm not sure. But there's definitely been some kind of betrayal, you know, in love, in a relationship. And I this, attends, this looks like it's a love reading. Okay, perhaps somebody stopped putting in effort, they stopped communicating, they stopped even trying, you know, and then they looked someplace else, whatever the case is, you know, and you finally decide, you know what, I'm not going to put in effort anymore either, you know, I'm just not. Um, I'm ready to start over, I'm ready to start something fresh, you know, I've, I've reached a point in my life where... It's time to end this stage, and it's time to start something new. End the stage, start something new. Last card in the deck, first card in the deck, okay? So you complete this, this stage that you're, you're in, and you start this new beginning, okay? And you might not even be aware of it yet, okay? But it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's like you guys are waking up. You're starting a new journey, whether it's a spiritual journey or something you're starting a new journey you know because you deserve respect okay it's there's disrespect here that's part of the lesson it's like you know what i deserve respect and if you're not going to respect me then goodbye okay so i see many of you starting a new journey a brand new journey where you don't have a lot of expertise but you're taking it anyway I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone I'm no longer going to be stuck in a situation where I'm not respected I'm not honored I'm not um, you know where there's no harmony there's no peace there's no 
growth, okay? It's like there's a there's a hasty energy where somebody is very impulsive and they, they don't think about your feelings. And it's like, you know what? I'm not going to stay here anymore. I'm done with this betrayal. It's time for me to broaden my horizons. It's time for me to move on. I'm quitting. I quit. I quit. You know, you're quitting this putting in effort into something that is going nowhere. It's not love. In search for true love. It's like, you know what? I'm looking for true love here. Okay? So you quit. I quit. I'm not doing this. It's a new year. I'm starting over. I'm starting fresh without you. Okay? And that's what it looks like to me. You're leaving something behind because of betrayal. And for many of you, not everybody, there's a third party situation that has come to light. And it's time for a transformation. And for many of you, it's spiritual. Okay? A spiritual transformation. If it's not spiritual, it's a transformation period. You're changing. And you're not changing in a little way. You're changing in a big, big way. This betrayal has led you to a new chapter. Congratulations. It's like, you know what? I can't, you know, I can't ignore this truth anymore. Okay? I can't. I know this has happened. I've tried to push it back, but I can't do it anymore. I quit. You're looking for true love. You're looking to be honored. You're looking for somebody to hold your hand. You're looking for somebody to open the doors. You're looking for somebody to, to cherish you. And where you were at, it wasn't happening. So you've come to this point where it's time, it's time, time for me to start my new beginning. I see a major new beginning for many of you that are watching this, many. With the, with the death card, the world card, and the fool card, all upright, oh yes, oh yes, in the search for love. And I have to tell you that new love is going to come with that ace of cups right there and the king of cups. New love is going to come during your transformation. I'm not sure it's going to be in January, but that's where you're headed. That's why this transformation is happening, because you deserve an abundance of love. And you've come to that realization. Yeah, where you're at, you haven't, you haven't been getting that abundance of love. This Knight of Cups is reversed. It's like, I want more. I want more. I've put in this effort, but you haven't. What the hell? You know, I'm not going to be deceived anymore. I'm not going to be deceived. I'm going to take action. It's like, you know what? I'm done with these challenges. I'm done with this dishonesty. I'm done with this mentally restless energy. And I'm done being taken advantage of. Okay? Uh, this is a breakup card. You have it twice. Five of cups, five of cups. I'm leaving this behind. Okay? There's, there's been too much loss in this relationship. Uh, there's been, there's, it's too much. There's been too much loss. You know, I, I, you know, there's been too many regrets. I have to let it go. I have to let it go. You know, this is a this is the lovers reversed. I mean, it is. It's a, this is a change in, in relationship for many of you. It's like you may be becoming single because you're in search for true love. You're looking for to be cherished. You're looking to for that abundance of love. You're looking for somebody to hold your hand, and you're looking for a happily ever after. And where you're at right now is not it. There's been betrayal, and you know it. You know it. It's time. It's time to bring back balance. It's time to bring back harmony. It's time to have equality within the relationship. You know, if you're giving 90 or 100% and the other person's only giving 20, but that ain't working out, okay? And this is why you're starting your new transformation. Part of the reason is that somebody hasn't been giving equal amounts of 
time, participation, love, whatever to the relationship. Somebody is not reciprocating and you can't do it alone. It takes two, okay? And that's why you've decided, okay, new year, new start, new me. Time for me to step over this finish line, complete this era, this chapter of my life and begin the new one. And when you do this, an abundance of love is going to come your way, okay? Now, it's not going to, I don't think that abundance of love is going to happen in January because I think in January you're taking the steps that will lead you in that direction, okay? You know, I think that that's the first step. You know, I think that you're no longer going to be stuck in a situation where there's no more love. I want love. You can get the next deck. The basis of your reading again is the Seven of Swords. That is betrayal, deceit, deception. Some kind of deception is pushing you towards a brand new start, which is going to lead to love. I knew it. I knew it. I did. Romance. Interesting. This is what you want, by the way. This is what you are looking for, romance. And that's why you are starting over. It's what you deserve. This is what you deserve, okay? I'm gonna read it to you. Lavish the one that you love with personal attention and affection. This is what you want, Aquarius. And this is why you are moving out of this situation where you were betrayed because you want this ultimate romance okay quality time is what is needed now <laughs> i knew it whether you're in a relationship or in between relationships do something special that brings romance back into your life if you are single it is important that you do something for you and this is what you're doing you're taking the steps that are needed to find the ultimate romance. So this beginning of January, 1st through 7th, it is realizing that it's time for a change. It's time to start a new chapter. It's time for a transformation. It's time to end the current phase and start a new one. You can celebrate that as a success. Because when the world card comes out, a lesson has been learned, even if it was learned the hard way. So celebrate your success. A lesson has been learned, and it's time to move on to the next one. Aquarius, this is what I have. Happy New Year. Talk to you later.